Okay, this is a very brief video which shows you how to use secure SIP and secure SRTP with Yearlink phones. Yearlink phones are very useful because not only are they a good price point, very feature rich, you get items such as these and they also have a built-in VPN and you can also use um, secure um, a TLS to secure your SIP signals as well as the audio. So very briefly what we've done here we've inserted a particular uh, a handset registration basically a SIP account. The key things to look for here is that we've defined this the the um, account as remote which means it's outside of the uh, local LAN. IP Brick has the concept of an inside and outside. If we go to definitions we have a outside LAN which is the public and we have inside. Normally phones will register on the inside but if we're having a cloud-based system, we are going to be coming in from the outside. This is the public facing. So when we define the phone, we have to tell the system that this is a remote phone and it does the appropriate network address translation and some of the media uh, translations. So we define the phone, we set a password and we define that as remote, okay? Um, once you've defined that, we have to create a certificate for the phone. And we do that by going to IP Brick, sorry, Telephony, under Advanced Configurations, and TLS Management. Now, I've done this already for one phone. I've filled in the details for my system. And I've also entered a um, account here, that has created a certificate for this phone. Now, it is said that uh, you can create one certificate for all the phones that you're using remotely. This is possible. However, I wouldn't recommend it because if the phone is lost or stolen, you can, when you cancel it, all your phones will be affected. So I know it's a bit more time and a bit more effort, but I suggest creating individual device certificates okay so once we've done that this is one I prepared earlier so we've got the certificate and we've also got the the SIP account okay we need to configure the phone so the first thing we do is we download the certificate okay which is basically a zip file now I've done this already okay doesn't have to be called the same as the handset you could quit I suggest Mac address of the phone or something like that or the user is it's been assigned to it doesn't have to have the same account name it's just something I called it now I've already downloaded this and I've extracted it and here it is and basically what the IP brick does is create a number of different um, formats PEM and SRT, sorry, CRT. Now for Yearlink phones, we need to upload the following. That, the CA list or CRT, that is the trusted CA. Okay, that's a certificate authority, which in this case is this. And the other one we need is the handset itself the .pem file. Now within this file we have just for your information if I can find my text editor oh, I can't be bothered All right. so within this file is also the certificate and the private key so now we need to go to our phone. Now we've got these two items, we need to configure our phone. So if we log into our phone, now this phone is already configured. So I'm actually just going to show you how I did it. password. 
So in this particular example, the first thing we have to do is go to security and trusted certificates. You see, I've already uploaded the certificate, the CA list file. And I did that by doing this browse and I loaded the CA list file dot CRT file. Okay. And then once I've uploaded that, you click the upload button, upload button, which loads this. Now, I don't know why, but you will sit your phone will probably say all certificates. Now, by all means, this is actually a certificate, which is custom. We've created it. It's not from a public um, root authority. Now, by default, you also probably say all certificates, which would indicate both public and custom ones. But for some reason, I've seen it on occasions. Sometimes the phones do not offer custom certificates or trust custom root authorities. So we specify that we're going to use anything that's defined in the custom list. Okay, so we need to change that. It might ask to reboot. Stop it from rebooting yet because there's one more thing we need to do. So you change that from all to custom certificates after you've uploaded that. Click confirm and it will ask to reboot. Don't reboot just yet. Click cancel. Once you've done that, go to server certificates. And then this is the certificate for the phone itself, not the root authority. And it's the same process. So we click browse and we click the device um, certificate, which also has the private key embedded. You don't need to load all these. These are only required um, depending on the phones. Different phones have different requirements, but I'm talking about yearlings at the moment. So you just need the certificate in the .pem file. Same process, upload that, select that, it comes up here click upload and it will appear here and the same process we need to change that from all certificates to custom click confirm and then the phone will reboot once it's rebooted log back in go back to your account and enter your registered details which is basically the details we've created here okay the password and the phone and it's remote so here what I've done we have to put in the user details again the only important one here is here and your password I've just set these the same um, and also here's the important settings this is just a demo so I've just used the IP uh, IP address realistically you it'd be easier if you specify the domain name now the important things here to change are we're going to change normally it will be UDP we need TLS okay we need TLS okay and then we need to change the port number from 5060 to 5061 which is secure SIP or SIPs as it's known okay click confirm and then it will, should say registered registered there's one more step we need to do so what that does once you've done that and it's registered and we've got TLS the signaling the SIP itself is now secure but the audio once you make a call the audio is still not encrypted so there's one more step we need to do to encrypt our audio you go to advanced okay and then what we need to do is we scroll down and we look for this setting RTP encryption SRTP now I've set mine to compulsory normally by default it be set to disabled optional which means it will renegotiate I've just set it to compulsory okay so you set that to compulsory scroll down and confirm and that's it 
Now when you're dialing, you should see a little padlock appear on the screen on the phone, which means both the signaling and the audio will be secure. A little padlock, just like a HTTPS session in your browser. Now there's one more thing also to check once you've configured the phone. Although you've set up and you created the phone, by default, SRTP will be set to no. Okay, so you would also have to go into the phone and make sure it to yes. Okay, click modify and apply your settings. So if we go and we have a look at, I've done all this previously. I'm just showing you the areas you need to go and to check and how to configure it. It's not complicated. It's just a little different. And the, the there's no real um, documentation or examples of how to do this. So this is why I did this video. And to verify that we've got phones connected, if we go to our monitoring sessions and we click on online phones, we have a uh, handset online. Now this particular server, which you can see here, is running in my uh, cloud environment in the UK, sat on a, uh, a server love on a, on a virtual machine, so I'm logged in here. The phone is currently located in my office and we have now got secure calling registered, ready to go in our diet plan. I hope that helps. OK, I hope that helps. Easy ways to create secure sessions with SIP and SIP audio. Don't forget the custom certificates. By rights, you shouldn't have to use it, but if you're having problems, don't forget to select that. And it goes the same for here. That's the key thing. Certificates, and also in the account, make sure you've changed to 5061. That's secure SIP. Thank you very much. I hope that helps.